Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Mashafika Binti Asin. I will present my part in this proposal which is exactly summary. The main purpose in this proposal is to help and make sure that students get their favorite food outside the campus. This proposal, we conduct a survey and receive 51 respondents answer the questionnaire by using Google Form. From the survey, we observe that students have problems to buy food such as Western food and fast food outside the campus. From the problems, we come up with the solution to implement food delivery service in Unimap to make student life become more easier. Our service will deliver food for lunch and dinner. Reservation for lunch open from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and deliver food at 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Reservation for dinner open from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and deliver food at 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. From the overall survey, mostly students agree with our service and also want our service to be implemented as soon as possible in Unimap. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. I am Nur Awanis binti Muhammad Rasidi from Mecca 7. Today, I'm going to introduce you a little bit of our proposal report. We have chose to create a new service to be implemented in Unimap. The service that we have planned to do is food delivery service. Food delivery service is a service that provides the food from outside restaurants to the students who are staying in campus. Now, let's move on to where this food delivery service will be available. This food delivery service will be available in Unimap main campus power only, which this service will give benefits to the students who are staying in PFI2 and also PFI1. Next, I will talk about why we choose this service? It is because there is no kind of food delivery service available there for the students. Turning to how food delivery service will help the students. This service gives the students more choices of foods to eat every day. Now, I would like to come to another reason of choosing this service that can give some advantages to the students. For the first one, it helps the student who opted to buy foods from outside anytime they wanted to. Next, it helps the students who do not have their own transport. Yeah, we know that not all the students have their own transport in the campus. Another reason is it provides variety of foods that students can order from outside restaurants, such as local foods, fast foods, or Western foods. Last one is it helps the students to, to save their time. So the students do not have to go out to, their, to the restaurants and queue for their food. They just need to stay at the hostel and just wait for their food to arrive, then enjoy the food. I'd like to conclude that this service for sure will be agreed by the students because we can see there are a lot of benefits from the service to the students who are staying in the campus. I'm Biomedical National Engineering and today I'll be presenting our survey on uh, food delivery service. And for my part, I'll be presenting about methodology which involves sampling and questionnaire. So, let's go. so as for sampling, yes, you have sent the survey through Google Forms and there are a total of 51 respondents that have responded to the survey. And uh, both female and male have responded to the survey. And for female, there are about 38 of them, which is about 74 and 5%. And for male, there are 13 of them, which involves 25.5%. So this is the chart showing uh, the respondents for the survey. So as we can see for male, yes, we have 25.5%. And for female, uh, we have 74.5%. So, as uh, the survey has been answered from different years of studying, and the most respondents are from year two students, which is uh, about 84.3%, and year one and year three students is only about 7.8%. So, there is a pie chart showing, and the orange color indicates uh, for year two, 
while the blue and the yellow shows for students from year one and year three. So for this survey, we don't have a uh, respondents from the year four students. Okay, so for the questionnaire, yes, we have prepared uh, about 40 questions and we have uh, divided into four main sections, which is A, B, C, and D. And we have used uh, close-ended questions uh, and the close-ended questions can be further divided into uh, dichotomous questions, multiple choice questions, and scaled questions. So, this is the example of uh, dichot dichotomous questions. So, for dichotomous questions, it involves uh, it uh, involves only two options: yes or no, or true or agree. So that is how the dichotomous uh, sorry dichotomous questions can be. So for scaled questions, it it requires the measure of opinions that uh, respondent can give. So for example, as we can see in the slide, we can uh, measure the opinion from strongly disagree to strongly agree. So it's like um, if if the respondent uh, wants to disagree so they can choose either uh, number one number two and for agree yes they can choose uh, number four number five and three should be neutral so that is the uh, methodology part for this survey and for my part um, that's all which is uh, I have presented about the methodology uh, which involves uh, sampling and Christina. So that's all. A very good evening. So I am Iman Harris. So for now, I'm going to present about the problems and the solution for the Grab food service. So the first problems that we have encountered is uh, on transportation problems. So if we refer to this kind of uh, bar chart or the data that we have collected from the survey, so majority of our students have the problems uh, on the transportation for them to go to, to buy the food, food at the outside. This is because of the uh, first they need to have the authorization for the persons in charge in, in order to obtain the license. So alternatively, alternatively students find out grab more reachables, but in consequence, they need to pay more and it kind of a uh, time consuming. So moving on to the next problems, which is the need to queuing up or lining up. So uh, if we refer by this reference, we find out that more uh, that majority of our students have to line up more than 10 minutes. This is because uh, they usually end that their learning session between this time, 5 to 7 p.m. in the evening. So majority of the students will, will uh, buy food uh, at the cafe during these times. And we also find out that problems too is actually closely related to the problem one, uh, which is on the transportation problems. Uh, it is because that students have no choice, no matter whether they, they like it or they the dislike they still have to choose a uh, unimac cafe as their one-stop center to buy the grocery or to buy the food so we're moving on to the next so for the next problems is unfairly so for the next problem is unfairly priced so continue to the next problem which is unfairly priced uh, this is caused by the vendor, or uh, we can say as irresponsible vendor, or a seller uh, whom did not put the price list or did not display the pri uh, price range. Um, so that so this result in the student did not get the exact price, and will also lead to the student cannot cannot manage well their uh, their their budget so in order to overcome this kind of problem we have proposed a solutions uh, to overcome this problem which is the solution is we want to propose a grab food service for all the students in the unimac campus so we we 
record we include this kind of a uh, survey in uh this kind of survey and we find out that majority of our students with the 42 percent agree with this uh proposed surveys and uh the rest do not agree maybe for uh maybe for uh some of the reason or maybe they 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 already uh feel comfortable with the food that have been provided by the unimate cafe so how student uh gonna reach us or how student uh, uh gonna contact us is that we have provide two platforms so the first one is a uh, whatsapp and the second one is a uh, website so for the so basically we know for the whatsapp just contact uh i mean just use the number phone and then whatsapp us so what do you want uh which uh which food that that you want and which price that you think is like suitable so for the website i think it's more convenient for the student because uh everything is just like of uh in the middle of the finger because they just need to tap tap and then choose and they will will directly send us uh, send send the food to the student so i think this is all for me thank you hi everyone let me introduce myself my name is Imantin from Mecca 7 group 1 I am a biomedical electronic engineering student from School of Mechatronic. Today, I am going to talk about benefit of food delivery service. The main purpose of the food delivery service is to ensure that students can get food even they are busy with daily activities such as class, sports, and extracurricular activity on campus. There are four reasons why the public university need the food delivery service in campus. The first reason is, when have food delivery service, students have no time to study. This is because students do not need to line up to buy food. Besides that, students can order food through WhatsApp or Telegram. The second reason is, the online food delivery service is simple and transparent. The online meal delivery service provides convenience for students and attracts students to order online. The third reason is online food has more variety. The online menu provides students with option to choose from various food with a variety of cuisines such as Italian, Thai, and Chinese. The image of food and dish attracts and stimulates students' interest in ordering food. Students can also use the online food delivery service to manage their meals because we will know the exact calories. The last reason is the price is affordable and fair to students during online food delivery. This is because most students complain about the food sales at the campus is quite expensive than the outside food. Then I will end my presentation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. I will start by introducing myself. My name is Muhammad Abdul Aziz. I'm a biomedical engineering student, and today I'm going to talk about the food delivery service. To be more specific, I'm going to be talking about the management part. So, as we can see here, uh, the, uh, the work will be divided into two groups. The first group will be responsible for the transportation aspect, which means they have to contact the drivers and they, they have to provide all kind of transportation between uh, restaurants and also uh, uh, the camps. The second group will be responsible for the communication, which means they have to make a very large uh, network between drivers and also restaurants and also the customers, which is in this case, the students. So the, 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 project, the project should not start until we make sure that all groups are connected and until we make sure that we have a wide network between all these parts. So the third group and the last group will be given the technical task, which means they should manage and organize the online platform, whether if it's applications or websites, 
So they should manage that. And also their duty is to uh, advertise and uh, promote the project. So they have to make sure that the project can reach the largest possible number of students. So as we can see here in this survey that conduct, uh, conducted among 51 students, that the majority of students prefer to contact using WhatsApp, which means WhatsApp will be one of the main uh, applications or the main way to, con uh, to make a connection between uh, the students or the customers and also the restaurants. And uh, also, as we can see here in this other survey, that uh, the choice of food that the, the student choose, they usually choose the fast food, or most of the time, actually, they choose the fast food. So that means that we will uh, make a, a bigger, like a larger connection with the fast food restaurants uh, so it can reach uh, the student. So that's it for the management part, and thanks for your attention. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nur Shahira Binti Jamaluddin. My metric number is 18115167. Today, I would like to present about the cost for food delivery service. This is the list of food price based on different types of restaurant. For KFC, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Domino's Pizza, Nasi Kanda Yasmin, and Western Food Mambo Bistro, the food price is 10 ringgit and above. While for Anjong Kali restaurant, the food price range is from 5 ringgit to 10 ringgit. Next, we move to delivery charges based on areas. As you can see, from Arau and Tanglun to PFI2, we only take 2 ringgit for each delivery. While from Kanga to PFI2, we take 3 ringgit for each delivery. For your information, we have a maximum orders per day, which is 30 orders from Kanga, 30 orders from Arau, and 30 orders from Tangwe. This is the total capital from each partner. As you can see here, we have 8 partners, and each partner contributes 20 ringgit for the capital. So the total capital for this service is 160 ringgit. This is the total profit per day for the revenue. The total delivery charges from Kanga is 90 ringgit. The total delivery charges from Changlun 60 ringgit and the total delivery charges from Arau per day is 60 ringgit. So the total revenue per day is 210. While for the expenses the wages per day is 60 ringgit and the total petrol per day is 30 ringgit. So the total expenses per day is 90 ringgit and the net profit per day is 120 ringgit. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Mazlino Imani Binti Walhaya. In my presentation, I will conclude all about the survey and implementation of food delivery program. This conclusion based on the survey for 51 students in Unimed. The problem that they have to buy their food is unfairly priced at BFI2. Most food prices are emphasized emphasis for students and have to spend more money to buy that food. Second, mostly students busy with daily routine and do not have much time to do something else. And last, many students do not have any transport, especially first-year students. Because of this problem, we made a delivery food program in Unimed has the solution which can give them certification. Students also can use their mobile phone to order food outside the campus by WhatsApp or any delivery apps, and the food will be delivered. With this implementation of this program, students can save their time from long queue. Their safety also guarantees against any accident, and they can choose a variety of food that they crave at a reasonable price. In hope the student of uh, in hope the life of student get easier with this implementation. Thank you.